Hey, do you remember one year ago today when Harry's Razors dropped their ads on the Daily Wire because, well, because we had the audacity to disagree with them on a political issue? Of course you don't. Why would you? Woke corporations cancel their advertisements on conservative shows and platforms all the time. It's hardly even news at this point. Just the cost of doing business. See, corporate America wants it both ways. They want conservatives to buy their goods and services, but they also want to virtue signal to the woke mob and their 23-year-old employees by publicly repudiating those same conservative customers. Now, here's the thing. I do remember. I remember every time one of these cowardly companies betrays us. And it is a betrayal, make no mistake. They know our politics before they advertise with us. It's why they advertise with us. We reach a large audience. They want that audience to buy their goods and services. We go out of our way to make absolutely sure they know what we're about before they get into business with us. And they get into business with us anyway, because it works. They're happy that we leverage our personal credibility to tell our audience about their products. We're happy, too. But then at the first sign of trouble, in the case of Harry's Razors, it was an attack from a Twitter account with two, yes, two followers online. Well, then they not only pull their sponsorships, but they publicly attack us and the very audience that they paid us to reach. Now look, I don't mind any company pulling their sponsorships. That's their right. That's just business. It's the public attack I can't abide. Harry said our views, in this case, the very common view that gender dysphoria is a mental illness, were, quote, inexcusable. They said it publicly, showing the whole world how pure they are, of course, but also signaling to all of our other advertisers that the only excusable thing to do would be to also cancel on us. See, that makes it a direct attack on our business and a direct attack on our audience, too. So what are we to do? Well, what conservatives have been doing for years is lose. We're supposed to take the L. We're supposed to get a little poorer. We're supposed to hire fewer people. We're supposed to be a little less profitable. And of course, we bitch. Oh, how we complain. The left is terrible. It's cancel culture. They're trying to silence us. And then we beg. We beg for donations, mostly. Stand up to the censorious left, we shout, by sending us your money. And what you get for your money is, well, more losing and more bitching and more begging. That's economic incentive at work. As far as actual action, at most, we might rally for a good old-fashioned boycott. Boycotts, of course, cost the offending company in question virtually nothing, and they're over in virtually no time. Of course they are. Because in the end, we still need those products. Nike may endorse Colin Kaepernick, but we still need good shoes. Hollywood may sucker punch us every time we turn on the TV, but we still need good entertainment. Harry's may call us inexcusable, but you still need a good shave. Well, I'm tired of losing. I want to win for a change. I want to create culture, and I want to have a freaking good time doing it, because losing? Losing sucks. That's why today, The Daily Wire is launching Jeremy's Razors, a direct competitor to Harry's, where people with inexcusable values like mine can get a great razor without having to give their money to people who clearly hate them. It's why The Daily Wire launched its own film company last year. So people, again, with inexcusable values like mine, can get great entertainment without giving their money to people who clearly hate them. It's why The Daily Wire is in the podcasting business, and the news business, and the commentary business, and the technology business. Business, mind you, not charity. We're a for-profit company. We don't make our money by complaining and begging. We make our money by building value and selling it to people who think it's worth buying. We win by winning. The left is happy to bifurcate the culture, to rip it in two. They're convinced they'll pay no economic price for this because they know what I know. You still need those goods and services. So in order to win, we have to rip the economy in two. We have to give conservatives their own companies. We have to give conservatives their own products to buy. We have to build actual market alternatives that, in success, will force the left to take real losses if they don't compete for our business. The Daily Wire is doing just that. Jeremy's Razors is doing just that. Will it work? I don't know. It certainly won't work perfectly, this being the real world and all. But I know what won't work, what doesn't work. And what doesn't work is the nonprofit right losing its way to higher and higher donations from a smaller and smaller conservative movement that still has to actually spend its real money paying the left for all of its goods and services. That is a sure recipe for failure. If we want to win, we have to compete. And competition means building a future, not just lamenting the loss of the past. It means fighting in the economy and culture, not just complaining about the loss of the economy and culture. It means starting for-profit companies that create actual economic incentives for better behavior.
That's what animates me. That's what drives the Daily Wire. That's the real fight. If you want a better future, you have to build it. And if you want a better shave, well, we're going to build that for you.